Hello everyone. So I am not Joas. Uh, Joas was sick, and well, uh, apparently he wanted somebody who didn't know what he was talking about to take over. So obviously everybody thought of me. So I'll be talking about the bots um, and now the technical stuff. Which again, I don't know the details, but Joas is available in chat. So if you're on the conference server, you can ask him basically to explain everything I said wrong here. So. There are three ways or three steps you need to do to create a bot that can put messages uh, in a room and even reply and react. First, you need to create a shared secret. This is definitely the easiest step, at least I understand what this does. So that should not be a big problem for most of you. Then you need to validate the origin, which from my understanding means you put what you just generated together with something you get from the server. And that's basically where all my understanding completely falls away. Um, but I hope some of you can read code better than I do. At least I would definitely hope so. And the third step would be then to use the output of that to actually send a message um, on the server as a bot. And again, this is obviously well beyond me, but there's still a bit of random in there that uh, hopefully makes sense to most of you. But it's well, it, it's just a REST call in the end that you need to put together and send to the server, obviously using the shared key that you created. So, um, the good part is there are basically a bunch of samples. There's obviously PHP code. Um, it's currently hidden in a ticket in the Spreet repo, but I'm guessing or hoping that at some point it will be put in some documentation page somewhere. Um, there is already the call summary bot, which you can basically fork and modify to do what you want. There's a currency bot. I did not know about this one. Um, and last but not least, there's a Golang bot that I mentioned yesterday that is fairly simple. Uh, it just says hi and hello whenever somebody else says hi and hello. But it definitely will help you get started. Now, the last thing is when you've created a bot and you would like other people to use it, which you don't have to want, but if you do. Um, we basically have a, well, let's go back to this one in a second. We have a list of bots that administrators can install. And if you go to the Spreet repo, there is an other bot template where you can request your bot to be added to the bot list so that administrators can install your bot with, uh, well, one command on the command line. So definitely worth doing if you've created a really cool bot that other people can and should use. So for help, well, you can obviously raise an issue and Joas will hopefully be better tomorrow or later this week. Uh, for now, you can reach him on the conf.nexo.com conference server chat. Um, yeah, that's it. James, your turn. Thank you.